Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a complete walkthrough of the Mysterious Potato Quests. So to start off our adventure, we need to redeem our golden potato. And we get our golden potato from a redemption code that uh, Gameloft sent us. So we just go into our settings, we put the code in, and you can pause the video here so that you can get the code off the screen. And then once we claim it, they send us the potato in the mailbox, and then we can start our adventure. Alrighty, so now that we have our golden potato, we need to head over to Merlin's house for the next step. And we'll see here on his desk, there's an open book and there's this transfiguration stone. So we need to keep that in mind. So the next area that we have to visit is the cave down here on Dazzle Beach. We need to go to the second floor of the cave. And here on this stone table is one of those stones. We're going to place the golden potato on it. And we get a golden carrot. The golden potato has transformed into a golden carrot. What other potentials could this strange item hold? So the next spot with a transfiguration stone is Elsa's ice cave up in the Forest of Valor. We'll just make our way up there. And this time we'll get a golden crab. A carrot to a crab. Who knows what it will turn into if you find another transfiguration stone. We're going to find out real quick because the next spot with a stone is up in the castle. We make our way all the way up to the tippity top and here on the railing is a, I think it's our last transfiguration stone. And this time we get a golden night thorn. It says the night thorn emanates weird magic. It must be nearing completion. So we're going to run back and we're going to go to Merlin's house one last time. We're going to go back to that first transfiguration stone we found and place the night thorn there. And then we get our potion. Which is gold Gleaming Gold Potion has the power of the sun to bring warmth to something gone cold. And so that's it. That is the Golden Potato Quest. And we're going to move on to our next quest, which is the Red Potato Quest. So once the Golden Potato is unlocked with that redemption code, all the other potatoes will appear. So for the Red Potato, we need to go into Remy's house. And I have already gotten my potato, but once you enter here by this fridge and cabinet, it'll be glowing. And so you'll pick up the item and it'll be this Red Potato. And what we need to do is we need to cook this potato. So we're just going to go over here to Remy's stove and make our meal. So we're going to need one red potato, one lobster, one slush ice, one chili pepper, and one raspberry. And then we cook these up and we'll get the icy red stew. Yuck. <laughs> so we need to take this stew into Remy's world at the castle. And once we're in here, we need to set the stew in the serving window here. And we got the Raging Red Potion. This will bring the spice of life back to something gone lifeless. And that's it for the Red Potato Quest. So now we'll be moving on to the Orange Potato Quest. So for our Orange Potato Quest, um, the only requirements beside unlocking the golden potato is to do the um, treasure hunt part two in Scrooge McDuck's quest because we need those shadow, the lenses of shadows in order to see the orange pebbles that are scattered about. Now there are 20 spread throughout the castle and the different realms. There are three in Mickey's secret room, three in the castle itself, one in Ratatouille's realm, two in Wally's realm, three in the Frozen realm, four in Moana's realm, and four in the Toy Story realm. 
So here in Mickey's room, we have a pebble here on the left by the couch. The next one is in front of this floating shelf and the other one is by the crafting table. And then outside of the castle, these took me quite a bit to find because I kept blending it with the carpet. But the first one is dun, 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 down here by this pillar in the entrance. And then the other one is here behind this pillar. And the final one in the castle is along this back wall next to that potted plant. Now in Ratatouille's realm, there's only one again, and it's located in the back next to the wheat and butter stations. And then Wally's realm is next. So we have one hidden over here by that little tree that I planted. Then there's one back behind the crafting station. And that was it. Next in Moana's realm, this one I had the most difficult time with because I'm blind, but there's one over here on the side of the beach, past her boat. Then when you enter, there's one like straight above from that portal. The third one, there's one by that fireplace and I completely missed it and you'll see me run around past it, but hindsight 2020. And the third one I found is up here hidden in the flowers. It took me a while to find it, but there it is by those trees. Here's me just running around everywhere but that fireplace. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at hide and seek apparently. And I finally found it. So next we will be going into the frozen realm. So the first one that I found is here behind one of these pillars. So the next pebble I found was here across the ice bridge where you can see like Gale dances above it. And the last pebble that I found was here next to these boulders. It looks like one's standing up and one's laying down. And that was the Frozen Realm ones. And then the Toy Story Realm. So the first one is here right by that red backpack. I found these ones pretty easy. I'm, I was really impressed with myself. Then there's one here in the closet. There's one here by that music cloud sheet of paper. And the last one is back here by the um, animals, the animal cage farm that we had to build with Woody. And so that is the location of all the pebbles. So now we need to go to a crafting station in order to craft our potato. So we use all those 20 orange pebbles to create our potato. And once we have our potato crafted, we can go ahead and make our electrifying orange potion. We just need that potato and an empty vial. And that is the orange potato mystery quest. And so yeah, that potion is not a regular potato smoothie, it's brimming with electrifying magic. So we'll move on to our blue potato. We just have to go down to Ursula's house and you'll find the blue potato in her home. And it's over here on the right side of her house in the back behind this table. So a blue potato with a slight magical glow. Just holding it, you feel a little bit lighter. 
All right, so now that we have our blue potato, we need to go and get our blue shell, which is back in Moana's realm. All right, so now that we're in the realm, we need to go in here between these two palm trees, and there's gonna be this invisible barrier maze through the water. We have to make our way around to find the blue shell. And as you'll see, I am very bad at these mazes. I, I get there eventually. I can see the shell, we did it. And we have our blue shell, which is a shimmering blue shell. When you put it to your ear, you hear the sound of a distant ocean. All right, so now that we have our shell, we need to go and get a blue starfish. And we find that back, um, we have to go to Dazzle Beach and we have to get on the raft that we uh, crafted to go find Ariel with. And then once here on the beach, there's gonna be another invisible waterway path. We have to go all the way to the up to the left where that little like peninsula piece is. I'm bad at these puzzles. <laughs> so our blue starfish, um, it says in the description, this definitely isn't from Ariel's collection. So the next spot we need to go to to get our next item is the um, back into the cave where we uh, had to place our golden potato and we're gonna look for the blue book, which is all the way at the very bottom level between two pillars. You can see it right there to our left. And the description on this book, I forgot to open them up and look at the last couple. It says, the cover is blue, the pages are blue, the text is blue, not exactly a page turner. So the last item that we need to get is a blue gem and we need to go all the way up into the sunlit plateau to the uh, cave that's underneath the waterfall. And once we're in the cave, we need to go into the mines over here to the right by behind the cooking station here. And we need to uh, follow the tracks and on the left side, we're gonna be looking for where the tracks go off by a mining rock and they're broken. So right here in this spot and then we'll go down to the end of the tracks and if you span your camera over, you can see that mining cart and there is the blue gem. So once we got that, we need to continue our way through the mines and we're looking for a, um, there's like these blue gems that are glowing. And then there's like this uh, little water spot. Like see, you can see right in front of here, the bluish green gems. We have our mystical glowing water source. And then we place all of these items in there. And that produces the blue potion. So our brilliant blue potion. This potion shimmers with revitalizing power. So yeah, this concludes our blue potato quest. Now we don't know what to do with these potions. So I would suggest just putting them in a storage bin in your house until we're ready for the next step. I hope this video helped you out and good luck to everybody on your potato mystery quest. And I cannot wait to see what we're going to do with all these colorful potions. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.